Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. This is Empowered Health with Valerie Grave. Today's video is arthritis part four. We are gonna talk about diet modifications for arthritis. Let's dive right in. Diet modifications. The first big thing I wanna talk about is let's start at the gut. Now, if any of you have followed me for any amount of time, you know that I'm going to tell you, start at the gut, start at the gut, start at the gut, start at the gut, start at the gut. Um, and that is something that I'm very passionate about and it's for a good reason, okay? Any naturopathic doctor is going to tell you to start at the gut. When we think about the body as a whole, the gut is the sewer system, okay? It is what takes out the bad, okay? If the gut is stopped up, then the bad is just gonna fill up in the body. And where do you think it's gonna go to? We talked about with gout, how when the body fills up with uric acid and it doesn't like it, and in order to get rid of it, it puts it into the joints. It's kind of like the closets of the body. And so if we're filling up with inflammation, we're filling up with toxins, the body is first and foremost going to put it in the closets of the body, which are the joints. Okay, so start at the gut. So start at the gut. All right. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is sulfur. Okay, and we're talking organic sulfur. Organic sulfur is one of the five top needed elements in the body. It is a periodic element. All right. The reason that most of us are low in sulfur is because farmers, for no fault of their own, don't fertilize with manure anymore. There was a lot of sulfur in manure, but we can't find manure very easily anymore. And so they spray nitrogen and phosphates on crops and therefore the soil is very depleted in sulfur. Why sulfur? People ask me this all the time. What the heck? Why do we care about sulfur? So first and foremost, sulfur goes to the cell wall and helps with the permeability of the cell wall. But also, what's very important to know is that chondroitin is a subset, a subparticle of sulfur. And so a lot of people know about glucosamine and chondroitin for their arthritis, but they don't know about sulfur. Okay, and that is just shame on us. All right, so shame on us as medical providers for not telling people about sulfur. You can find sulfur at um, most naturopathic drugstores or on Amazon, but please, please, please make sure that you know the source of your sulfur. They are not all created equally. If you want a good source of sulfur, I have linked my supplement page that I like to use down below and please click on it. It is a good organic source of sulfur. The other thing I want to tell you about is if you are not taking sulfur in a crystallized form, okay, so there's the pills that are filled with the crystals or sometimes they just come in a tub of crystals, then you are not getting anything from your sulfur, okay? It's been broken down too much and your body can't absorb it. So please make sure you are taking it in a crystallized taste terrible form. All right. <laughs> I know, right? Taste terrible. Sorry. Um, the next thing is mango steam. All right. And mango steam is a fruit. And what it is, is it is high in um, an anti-inflammatory. And so if we decrease the inflammation of the body, then we will decrease the inf inflammation of the joint, right? So mango steam. Again, if you want a good source of mango steam, I've linked my supplement page that I like in the comments. So the next one is turmeric. And turmeric, you say, is a spice. Why, why turmeric? Turmeric is a very good anti-inflammatory. Okay, so either cook with turmeric or you can take, again, a very good organic source of turmeric. The last one that I wanted to touch on was glucosamine and chondroitin, okay? Um, glucosamine and chondroitin both are theoretically very good for arthritis, but I don't actually know anybody that has taken glucosamine and chondroitin and said, I noticed a huge difference. The reason that we theoretically think that it helps is because glucosamine and chondroitin are the main sources, the main structures in 
cartilage, which is what cushions um, the joint along with synovial fluid. And the thing is, is that it doesn't seem to pan out. Either we can't absorb it or, um, you know, it can't get through that cell membrane into the synovial fluid and into the cartilage. So I would advise you, don't waste your money on glucosamine and chondroitin. All right, that's it for today's. Thank you for learning about diet modifications for arthritis with me. If you want more videos about arthritis, check out my free course. The link is in the description. Again, the link for the products that I talked about today are in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. 